Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is try to remap the buttons. Uh, in this case, when you can see on the screen here, this one on the bottom, this button, is the, uh, this red one is B button, and this green one is the A button. So what we're gonna do right now is switch these two. So what we wanna do is first press the program button, then, pro uh, then click the button that we want to uh, that has a function that we want. In this case, here we have the A, so I'm gonna press the A, and I want the A button to be used when I press this one. So I'm gonna press the B one now. So now this is also A. And you can see here, I'm, I'm pressing the red button, and now it, it works as, as the A. Now I'm gonna uh, put the B button right here, so it's the same. Program, first the B, and now I want this button to be over here, so I'm going to click the A. And now I can use this as the B. And you can see it press, and then there's your A. So that's how to remap a button. So you can also remap the um, zip and buff functions that you have here. Like, uh, this originally comes with the, uh, when you blow on it or suck on it, it will work as the L2 and R2. So if I blow here, it'll do the same that we have. But uh, we also want to remap this most of the time. So right now, what I'm going to try to do is uh, make the SIP function be jump, which would be this Y button and maybe I'll try blowing, uh, puffing, uh, be this R1. So it's exactly the same procedure for remapping. So what I'm gonna do is press program. I want, it, uh, I want the jump function, so I'm gonna press Y, and then I'm gonna uh, puff. Okay, so that programmed it, and now if I blow here, it's gonna jump. And that's how it works. I'll also do the same thing for the shielding. So I'm gonna press program, or um, then I'm gonna press R1, and then I'm gonna uh, sit on it. So now I can put my shield on with uh, sipping and jump with blowing. Okay, the next function we're gonna see is the latching function. So this, what it does is, uh, when you press one button, it will stay pressed. So uh, this particular game won't really need this, but I'm just gonna show you how it's done. Right now, if I press R1, I can put on my shield. So what we're gonna do, if you wanna use the latching function in any game you wanna play, what you have to do is press the program button, then press the button you wanna uh, have latched and then you're gonna press it a second time and hold it for three to four seconds until this light right here starts blinking there so I let go and now when I press R1 if I just press it once it will stay on I press it again it will cancel so if I that that's a function you could you really use in case uh, uh, you're in different types of games that could be really useful. Okay, so this function is the turbo function. Turbo function. So if you ever want to uh, make a button be turbos, what you have to do is press the program button, then you're going to press the button you want, and then you're going to press it again, but hold it until, but for about 6 to 10 seconds, it'll flash once right there, and then once it starts flashing again and it stays flashing, that's when you know you, you're gonna program the turbo. And now you can just, how often you want the sensitivity. If you move the joystick up, then you'll have the um, turbo will be clicked more often. And if you pull, pull down the joystick, it'll be slower. Okay, so what we're gonna do is gonna move it up so it's really fast, and what we do is press the button we want to, uh, to program again once, one final time, and now if I press this button you will see on the game that 
this holding it will turn on and off the the turbo function. Okay, to adjust the sensitivity of the joysticks, what we have to do is press the program button, then we're gonna press select and leave it pressed until the status button starts blinking. And once it starts blinking, we can move the joystick up to have it, the joystick be more sensible or down to make it less sensible. It will show you the speed of this flashing, will tell you how sensitive it is. And then to exit, we just press select again. To do the sensitivity of the right joystick, we do exactly the same thing, except we press program, then hold the start button for three to four seconds instead of the select button. And then we adjust the, the sensitivity with our uh, right joystick. And finally, we press the start button, and that would be it. Okay, this function is uh, switching these two joysticks from position. So right now you can see I can move my character with the left joystick, jump and duck. And with this other joystick, I can use the snatch moves. So uh, in order to change these, what we have to do is pretty simple. You press the program button, the slow LED light will turn on. Then we're gonna push both, both joysticks into the center of the controller and hold there until the status light goes off there so now uh, this joystick will have these smash attacks and this and this joystick will move the character okay so to change the axis of the controllers what we have to do well right now I'm just gonna show you if I go up with the joystick it'll go up down is down, left is left, right is right. Maybe you want to play with this controller flipped upside down or on one side or on the other side. So what we can do is change the axis of, the, of these joysticks. What we have to do is press program, then select and hold it there until the status light starts blinking there. And for example, if we want to change the vertical axis, we're going to press the up or down buttons on the D-pad and press it, then press select. And now, when I go up with the joystick, the controller, the hand will go down, it will be inverted, inverted. And my right and left joysticks still work the same. What well, if I want to change those two, those two, I do the same thing, program, I leave select, pressed. Once it starts blinking, I just press the right or left button. And now, this one's also inverted. Since we modified a lot of things mm, just to show this how this all works, we actually don't want all of these functions to be like this. What we can do to make it to change it back to the default settings is press the program button, leave it pressed for about uh, five to ten seconds until until it starts flashing. And once it starts flashing, you let go, and then you have to press the program button once more for about 10 seconds until the uh, status light goes off and there and now the joystick is back to normal A button is still the A button, B button is still the B button so it went back to its original state and that's it for that part so the last function that we have to uh, uh, do here is the uh, Enabling and disabling the default uh, mouse and uh, button, uh, left button, right button for the computer. So if you connect this controller to your computer, what you will actually have is this joystick right here will move the mouse and this will be your uh, right click and left click. So if you're playing on your computer and you don't actually want this to interfere with that, what you do is just press the program button and then program and then press the home button for 10 seconds uh, 5 seconds sorry until the LED goes out and that will disable it um, from this working as your mouse uh, to 
enable it, it's exactly the same. You just press it, press it for five seconds, and it'll start working as your mouse again.